beautiful waving curlies and welcome back to another video or if you are new here hello and welcome i am wavy girl jesse your wavy hair content okay so today's video we have the two denmans battling it out this paddle brush is my go-to i use this a lot and then this one i'm also enjoying on days when i want smaller clumps and more defined curls but how do the results from both of these brushes look side by side we are going to be testing that out today so if you want to see how they perform which one does better and which one may be more suitable for you then keep on watching and let's go and wash my hair <laughs> ready to style. I'm not happy with the way this is sitting. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Yes. Okay, so first of all, I am going to be applying the Flora Curl Curl Activating Lotion. I'm going to use two pumps. The reason why I chose this wash day, it might look a little random. I will insert a photo of a wash day I had a few weeks back where I kind of did an experiment wash day where I used products with protein in, but without glycerin. I do think one of the products I'm using today has glycerin, but most of them don't. And I really liked that wash day. My waves were like really chunky. It looked like I had so much hair. I really like the definition too, so I've been wanting to replicate that wash day for a while now. Okay, so I'm going to tie this out the way. By the way, I hope you guys like the different style of video today. We're waiting for somebody to come around and paint the bathroom that I normally use. I didn't really want to style in there because we're not really using that bathroom at the minute. There wasn't room for you to come in the shower with me, but I kind of fancy showing you a little something something. So, by the way, my technique has changed after watching Mains by Mel. using the Floracol gel, my pump broke. It's not manufacturer's problem, it's mm, clumsy me. I don't know how much I use, I just kind of glide my hand down the plastic tube and just kind of grab that much. I think all the products today that I'm using as well are really lightweight, so I'm expecting all the volume. Always this section that seems to not up. <laughs> so far. So I'm not gonna bother taking any rows out of the Denman from my other video where I used the Denman D3 to style and I compared using four rows and seven rows. There wasn't really much difference so that's why I'm not. See it gets tangled. 
So yeah, there wasn't much difference between seven or four. I would say at the moment, this side is chunkier, this side I've got smaller clumps. Fun fact, I know I look really dressed up, but I've actually got my PJ bottoms on. And I do in most videos, honestly. <laughs> cheating. <laughs> with the towel on my head for about like 30 minutes or so but my hair is already quite damp now so I'm not going to do that today just micro flop now I'm just gonna add eco slay orange marmalade all over really notice much difference between the two sides maybe the clumps on this side there are a few chunkier ones but so far that's all I can tell I'm going to diffuse this now as quick as I can and we'll be back with my hair in a cast okay we are back I think my hair is 100% dry in winter it is a struggle to dry my hair I feel like especially the last 10% just does not want to dry. <laughs> Can we notice a difference between the two sides? I don't think so. I'd say they look pretty similar. But yeah, anyway, let's scrunch this out. I am going to use this oil. By the way, I mentioned, I can't remember if I spoke about this, but well, I said about it on my Instagram stories. I said that this oil was a bit tricky to get out and I was hitting it against my fingers, but I was watching a Mains by Mel video and if you tap it, it just squirts out. And then I've got like a couple drops. I've got a very, very light cast. I don't have much of a cast. And all the products today, I find that they're very lightweight. So my drying time was maybe slightly quicker than when I use thicker products. First off, my hair has not turned out like how I thought it would originally in the video. So it just goes to show. <laughs> I get this a lot sometimes. I will look back on my Instagram posts and different wash days and I'll be like, oh, I fancy big chunky curls like this wash day. I'll do the same thing and then it turns out completely different because I guess it depends what position the sun is in, the moon is in and... I'm quite liking today. Do I notice a difference between the two sides? Mm, maybe this side kind of like looks more defined higher up. I'd say this one kind of looks looser and then the definition starts at the bottom. And this side I'd say is more uniform. But this side, by the way, is my assy side. <laughs> we all have a bad side. I prefer this side all the time. So I'm going to find my side part. I usually... Oh, let's do a deep side part. Ooh. <laughs> I really like how lightweight my hair feels and how kind of fluffy and soft it feels. It's not as, as defined as other wash days. My hair is a bit looser, but I do like this result today. I 
Do you guys notice a difference between the two sides? Let me know in the comments down below. My curls may be looking a bit stringy because maybe it didn't need as much protein as I gave it. I love both sides. They don't look drastically different, I don't think. By the way, you can see my volume does not last at all. If I had to choose a favourite brush, I think mine would be the paddle brush because it's it's just easier to glide through my hair. It's a lot more flexible. It's bigger, so um, you can take bigger sections. It's a lot quicker. And I I think these um, may be like more wavy hair friendly. The Denman I do like using from time to time. If I fancy a wash day where I really want smaller clumps and more definition, then I will use this. It is slower. You need to take smaller sections. The bristles are not very flexible. My hair gets tangled really easily so I need to make sure that my hair has a lot of slip to be able to use this successfully. And I have heard that the paddle brush is good for blow drying your hair straight. I've been feeling that itch and that urge to dry my hair straight recently just to do something different. I'll probably want my waves back as soon as I finish but you know. So if you want to see a video where I test out drying my hair with this brush, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and the experimentation I did on my hair. Let me know if there's any other experiments that you would like to see. Make sure to give that video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload every Friday. I am your wavy hair content just to chill out on the weekend relax have a cup of tea some biscuits and watch me experiment on my hair so that you don't have to <laughs> so yeah anyway see you next week bye goodbye goodbye